hey guys, I am continuing to read the Word of God. Do you know that God is not only the greatest architect there is, but He is the mm, He is look He is the best, greater than the best fashion designer there ever was, there ever is, and there ever will be. He got style. I'm telling you, the Lord our God. There is none like him. He's got style. He is about to design the clothing for the priesthood. He is setting the priesthood aside from the people. And now, He's giving Moses instructions about their clothing. You want to see what I'm talking about? Grab your Bibles. Come on, let's read Exodus chapter 28. I am reading the King James Version. This is good. This is good. You want to design something magnificent? Check this out. And take thou unto thee Aaron thy brother, and his sons with him, from among the children of Israel, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. Even Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar, Aaron's sons, and thou shalt make holy garments for Aaron thy brother, for glory and for beauty. Hmm. And thou shalt speak unto all that are wise-hearted, whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom, <laughs> that they may make Aaron's garment to consecrate him, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And these are the garments which they shall make, a breastplate, and an ephod, and a rope, and a broidered coat, a mitre, and a girdle, and they shall make holy garments for Aaron thy brother and his sons, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And they shall take gold and blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen. And they shall make the ephod of gold, of blue and of purple, of scarlet and fine twine linen with cunning work. Hmm. It shall have the two shoulder pieces thereof joined at the two edges thereof, and so it shall be joined together. And the curious girdle of the ephod, which is upon it, shall be of the same, according to the work thereof, even of gold, of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twine linen. And thou shalt take two onyx stones, Engrave on them the names of the children of Israel. Hmm. Six of these names on one stone, and the other six names of the rest on the other stone, according to their birth. the work of an engraver in stone, like the engravings of a signet, shall thou engrave the two stones with the names of the children of Israel, thou shalt make them to be set in ouches of gold. And thou shalt put the two stones upon the shoulders of the ephod for stones of memorial unto the children of Israel. And Aaron 
shall bear their names before the Lord upon his two shoulders for a memorial. And thou shalt make ouches of gold and two chains of pure gold at the ends of written work shalt thou make them and fasten the written chains to the ouches and thou shalt make the breastplate of judgment with cunning work after the work of the ephod thou shalt make it of gold of blue and of purple and of scarlet and of fine twine linen shalt thou make it four square it shall be being doubled a span shall be the length thereof and a span shall be the breadth thereof and thou shalt set it in settings of stones even four rows of stones the first row shall be a sardius a topaz and a carbuncle this shall be the first row and the second row shall be an emerald a sapphire and a diamond mm. and the third row a ligure an agate and an amethyst and the fourth row a barrel and an onyx and a jasper they shall be set in gold in their enclosings and the stones shall be with the names of the children of Israel 12 according to their names like the engravings of a signet even one with his name shall they be according to the twelve tribes and thou shalt make upon the breastplate chains at the ends of written work of pure gold and thou shalt make upon the breastplate two rings of gold and shall put the two rings on the two ends of the breastplate and thou shalt put the two written chains of gold in the two rings which are on the ends of the breastplate and the other two ends of the two written chains thou shalt fasten in the two ouches and put them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod before it and thou shalt make two rings of gold and thou shalt put them upon the two ends of the breastplate in the border thereof which is in the side of the ephod inward and two other rings of gold shalt thou make and shalt put them on the two sides of the ephod underneath toward the forepart thereof, over against the other coupling thereof, above the curious girdle of the ephod. And they shall bind the breastplate by the rings thereof unto the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue that it may be above the curious girdle of the ephod and that the breastplate be not loose from the ephod <laughs> and Aaron shall bear the names of the children of Israel in the breastplate of judgment upon his heart when he goeth in unto the holy place for a memorial before the Lord continually and thou shalt put in the breastplate of judgment the Urim and the Thummim, and they shall be upon Aaron's heart when he goeth in before the Lord. And Aaron shall bear the judgment of the children of Israel upon his heart before the Lord continually. Hmm. And thou shalt make the robe of the ephod all of blue. Hmm. 
mountain, and there shall be a hole in the top of it, in the midst thereof. It shall have a binding of woven work round about the hole of it, as it were the hole of an habergeon, that it be not rent. Hmm. And beneath, upon the hem of it, thou shalt make pomegranates of blue and of purple and of scarlet round about the hem thereof, and bells of gold between them round about. A golden bell and a pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate upon the hem of the robe round about and it shall be upon Aaron to minister and his sound shall be heard when he goeth in unto the holy place before the Lord and when he cometh out that he die not mm. and thou shalt make a plate of pure gold and grave upon it like the gravings of a signet holiness to the Lord and thou shalt put it on a blue lace that it may be upon the mitre upon the forefront of the mitre it shall be and it shall be upon Aaron's forehead that Aaron may bear the iniquity of the holy things which the children of Israel shall hallow in all their holy gifts and it shall be always upon his forehead that they may be accepted before the Lord. And thou shalt embroider the coat of fine linen, and thou shalt make the mitre of fine linen, and thou shalt make the girdle of needlework. And for Aaron's son, sons, excuse me, thou shalt make coats and thou shalt make for them girdles and bonnets shalt thou make for them for glory and for beauty <laughs> and thou shalt put them upon Aaron thy brother and his sons with him and shall anoint them and consecrate them and sanctify them that they may minister unto me in the priest's office and thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness from the loins even unto the thighs they shall reach hmm. and they shall be upon Aaron and upon his sons when they come in unto the tabernacle of the congregation or when they come near unto the altar to minister in the holy place that they Bear not iniquity and die. It shall be a statute forever unto him and his seed after him. Thus ends the reading of Exodus chapter 28. See what I was saying? I am reading on because this is beautiful <laughs> this is beautiful oh we must give praise and thanks unto the Lord for he is good he is good in everything that he does he is excellent he is perfect mm. down to the stitches he is perfect Thank you for reading with me. I am reading on. Would you join me again? Stay blessed, everybody. Exodus chapter 29 is coming up next.